maximum, but with the algorithms compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Elidian ship is here. The Zeldi? We're outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Evasive maneuvers. Aye, Captain. The Veskar's warp engines are powering them. Our warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Veskar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. Diaz and Edsalar still over there? They'll need to evacuate. <sighs> Come on. I almost have it. They gotta know we're here. Hurry! You got it? Got it! Diaz to Resolute! We read you, Diaz. This is Armand. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar? Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. Yeah, we're both here. We're both okay. Very good, Petty Officer. Can you get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't evade the Zeldi forever. Understood. Diaz out. We're gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. The Lydian ships have no escape pods. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported to before. Then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. Those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. I've polarized the hull plating. That should allow us to take a few more hits. Enemy phaser impact dissipated. Heading, Captain? Attack pattern Beta-3. Circle around that asteroid and come back firing. Aye, Captain. Zeldi, in range. Zeldi's shields down to 82%. We're doing damage, but they're hitting us right back. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I could be of assistance. I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attacks. But I will need full access to your propulsion system. This goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. Not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this beat and put it with me. Or will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment.
ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. All right. One of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. We need one big enough for all of us to fit inside. Something we can make airtight. No way this will hold up in a vacuum. Damn it. Not this one. Oh, here we go. This will work. That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. This container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Glancing blow. Very little damage. I cannot keep this up for long. Their phaser banks are recharging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count! Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Veskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzelar again. Hit their engines! We've already lost the Veskar. We need to protect ourselves first. Target their weapon systems. Hi, Captain. Firing torpedoes! Move it now. These will give us the push we need. Those are explosives. We'll ride the blast right out of here. All set. I'll set the containment field to deactivate and then run back. We can detonate by remote. We'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do. Before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. Zeldi's coming about. They're going to charge the Resolute. Direct collision would be catastrophic. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. We need to act fast. Hold all fire. Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now! You heard her. Done! Ready? Detonate! Have them 
on sensors. Tractor beam activating. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! Tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. What's down there? Answers. From what I can tell, it's larger than the structure on Tau. Is this the Takan arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takan Empire, our greatest treasure, our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bridrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Wait. <clears throat> You're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydek knew what she was doing. You're right. But this is too important for me to sit out. You'll just have to make sure nothing happens to me down there. Of course, Captain. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. Sign of Sidron. Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Let's make this a short mission. All right. That's the plan. I'm no security officer. I'll do my best to make sure nothing happens. Some way to activate it. 
portal. Can you open it? It is a Taconian vault. I thought you'd never ask. Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Thank you. Definitely easier this way. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, may I call my name? Will do. Thank you. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resident. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Tacon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Soil. Just... Soil. It's not from this planet, nor any planet in the Federation database. This here. This is soil from the home world. Our capital system. This isn't an arsenal. 
It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Takon. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like this. You cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye forever. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takon Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being. I totally understand that feeling. It's unavoidable and inescapable no matter what you do. Yes, it's that distant but familiar feeling that's forever just out of reach. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship's schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up. seen these before, in the other vault. And if all of those are the same as this, then there must be... Hundreds of millions, if not billions. All that remains of the Dakon civilization. A distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. You thought this was an arsenal. And in a way, you're right. This is how they rebuild the Takan Empire and bioform billions of innocent people. That seems to be the case. What you have to understand is these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization as a means of safeguarding the health and well being of any Takan. Should they fall prey to illness or injury, they were never intended to be. For this purpose, there you are wrong. This was always their purpose to restore the glory that was lost. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia.
proud of how much death you've caused. Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. I was protecting my crew. It's regrettable to take any life. But when someone threatens galactic civilization, force is the correct response. And I suppose it worked. For now. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Aphelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. You're talking about a crime against sentient life on a mass scale. Oh. An evolutionary process, where the strongest and most capable survive. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here. And that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Captain Rydak. Long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. Forda transport. Hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because of you. And still, I've always stood by you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Aphelion, they will be forged into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew, we're all next. Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. 
Pelion is coming into view now, Captain. On screen. Mind you, those life forms are to cop. Not science, to cop. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. Did I hear that right? That's an order. Storage crystals are on board in our cargo bay. Thank you. I won't forget this. I hope you realize what you've done. We don't need another captain who's gonna risk our lives just to feed their ego. This ship and this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. This isn't about me. It's our duty as Starfleet officers to protect life, wherever and however we find it. And I couldn't let them fall into Galvin and Sidron's hands. I had to do it this way. And to think... I used to look up to you. The Aphelion is targeting us, approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now! You did what had to be done with the Tasker. You said you'd avenge her, and you did. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment, it wasn't a question of time. It was about freeing a Tasker. I'm sorry you lost your friend. In her final moments, I'm sure she counted you as a friend. Surprise is here, but your shoulders separated. If you come with me to sick bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. Proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. I'm just getting started. She was a good little escape pod. Not that I want another ride like that anytime soon. Tell me, did any crew from the Zelti survive? Well, since the Lydian ships have no escape pods, I think it was just us. I see. 
I had a partner on board. After this mission, she and I were meant to... Doesn't matter. All that matters now is making the Takan pay for what they've done. We'll stop them. I promise. Hey, Diaz. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but they're bioformed. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. That means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us? We'll have to stop them. No matter what it takes. Yeah. I, I guess we have to be ready for that. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him, but I can just imagine the look on his face. You know what? I want to see him too. It'll be nice to get one piece of normalcy. I'm sure we can count on him for that. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it. Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off. Yeah, when they do, make sure they get my name right. D-I-A-Z. Diaz. Ed's Lars too. I'm sure no one will forget. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You're telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. I concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. I gotta admit, it's a little flattering that this place went to hell so fast without me. So, uh, I'll take that as a compliment. I believe factors other than your absence were also to blame. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. I tended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta. Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here, on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Illidians are no longer enemies. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. There's still a lot of bad blood. Well, if there's any way I can help, let me know. I'll take you up on that. It's good to have the support of a Starfleet captain, I'm sure. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here.
We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms. So I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. And right now, you need the full support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust. But an issue as divisive as this can create discord. We all know I'm new to this. So it's nice to have your support. Even when we don't agree or there's something I don't like, I'll let you know. But you'll always have my support. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust, but if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ermot. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. You really couldn't go wrong with either of them. At the moment, I am leaning toward selecting Commander Westbrook as the new first officer. That would be an excellent choice, considering your history. The crew would respect the fact you chose someone likely to challenge your opinions and present a different point of view. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. Captain. I'll meet you inside. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship. Not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. Lieutenant, we both know how much we need your help and expertise for the coming conflict. I have no one to replace you. I understand, Captain. And I apologize, but my heart is not in it any longer, and to stay would be a disservice to us both. My door is always open if you change your mind. I appreciate that. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual. But I trust you have no objections. Talk about moving up in the world. Not that I'm surprised in the least. These are unusual times, Mr. Chovak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsalar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rydek, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that, lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know that as well as I do. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And 
you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own, as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed? Well, as simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. Doctor, you just gave me an infusion and didn't think to mention it? I am the chief medical officer, and it was my determination that we need our captain. Now more than ever. You should have told me. That's beside the point. The amount needed to slow bioforming dwarfs the amount needed for your treatment. We don't have enough deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good then. The use case I'd suggest is that could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. I think Portal could still help us. If he can't get a first-hand look at the Aphelion, he might be able to identify a weakness. After sparing the remnants of his civilization, I should hope he'd help us. He will. We'll need to prepare a boarding party, if it comes to that. Petty officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely gonna need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. I will compile all the latest data on the Tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I 
have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edzelar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha, 7. Whiskey. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience. And I need to rely on him now more than ever. But that's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And that's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time. But I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. You trusted me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, and I trusted you in return. In fact, I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. It was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. I guess loyalty counts for nothing with you. Look, I'll be honest. I can't do this without your help. You're one of the best officers we've got, and I need you by my side. Otherwise, we don't have a chance against Galvin. It's as simple as that. And I'll be there when you need me. Just like I always have. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. I should go take care of this. Go.
was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, I don't like our chances. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Kobliad. Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight, you underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Red alert! Pandar, get us out of here! They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. Hit him in the mouth. What are your orders? Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes, Captain. And its shields are fully intact. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Or that was the Takan bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. Takan may already be on this ship. No way of knowing how bad it is yet. Get an urgent message to Starfleet Command. Tell them we've been hit by the Aphelion's bioforming ray. There may be hostile Takan aboard this ship. I'll notify them at once. Here are your new tricorders. Now go, get to the transporter room.
on what side, Carter? Come on! You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated derivative doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Dukan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. We need to tunnel through the shields. to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from... Stand aside. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, guardian of the Con Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. Diaz, you better know what you're doing. We're all counting on you. If we see Miranda in here, I'm not gonna hesitate. She's taken too many lives. You can't undo that. This is crazy, right? Oh, yeah. After this, let's do something really boring. We could replace the paneling in the Jeffrey's tube. Hell, I'd even degauss a plasma manifold. has never seen a ship like this. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. We don't have time to mourn. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet.
This way. Can't reach anyone. At least not on the lower decks. It's like they're all gone. The comm systems seem to be operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. This ship could be swarming with resurrected Takan. It's only a matter of time before they come to their senses and take action. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. Captain, we're holding them off as best we can on deck nine, but... If they spread throughout the decks, we'll never know who to trust. Lock down the affected areas immediately. Close the bulkheads and erect the containment fields. No one is allowed in or out without my authorization. There could be crew members who weren't affected who could get locked inside. That's a risk we'll have to take. Initiating a lockdown now. And what happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We don't want suspicion to run rampant. Captain Solano had a favorite proverb from Earth. Trust but verify. Everyone should assume we're all on the same side. But at the same time, they should watch for anything abnormal. Have we heard anything from Commander Ermot? No. And he's been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Ermot. Commander Ermot, can you hear me? Computer shutdown initiated. According to this, it was initiated by Commander Irma. What? The central computer core will shut down in 10 minutes. We'll lose all critical ship functions. It can only be overridden by the captain at the core itself. With me. to figure out what's happening. Is up there. I don't have much time. Captain Rydick? It's me, Commander Ermot. First Officer Westbrook insisted I find you immediately. Let me get this door open. I think I remember the code. I hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. I'll get you somewhere more secure. Just about. Captain, don't do anything rash. Computer termination sequence in progress. Damn it!
Captain. There's a time to fight and a time to admit defeat. Computer termination sequence in progress, awaiting Captain's authorization. Computer shutdown. Shutdown. Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha. Seven. Whiskey. Termination sequence canceled. <sighs> These are the arteries of power coming from the Cotabula at the heart of the Aphelion. Look there. I cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up.
emitters. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. That craft can take us to the main power chamber. No way we can make that jump. When I was younger, maybe. Huh. This might control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. Set to maximum stun. How are they getting up? Something's different about the Takan here. Stunning isn't an option. Get in. Ancestors, how do you stand with them? We've left them behind. I've seen it with my own eyes. They're not real to come. We were conquerors, not Parasites. The souls I pushed your captain to spare will not be used for this end. I will see to that. I'll tell you what these scions are. They're fanatics. They won't stop for anything. Yes. So, we must be fanatical in return if we are going to stop them. No hesitation. This ends here. I 
figured without me you didn't stand a chance. I'm here for the ship and the crew, not for you. I couldn't just sit in my quarters, waiting to get turned into a Takan. Your timing's perfect. We need your help now more than ever. Clearly. The only reason they haven't destroyed us is because we have bioformed Takan on the ship. That's why they're targeting our engines. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! They're here! We're being hailed by the USS Titan. Put them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? No. It's happening again. We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. And they've stolen our shield algorithms, so there's nothing we could do to stop them. Avoid being hit at all costs. I wish we'd known that before we got here. Destroy that ship. Otherwise, it won't be long before they're coming after us. They could all be Dakar. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. Hail them. See if we get a response. Hailing the Pawtucket now, Captain. Hold on. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power. Shields are holding up against their attacks. But they won't for very long. Fire phasers! Firing. Shields at 60%. Heavy damage reported in astrometrics. Hit him with everything we've got. Aye, Captain. Taking heavy fire. Shields now at 40%. Stay with it. Keep firing. weapon systems are offline. Now's our chance. Finish it. We can send Galvin a message. Let him know exactly what he's up against. And that we're willing to fight to the very end. Target their life support systems. Fire when ready. Targeting their life support systems. Commencing fire. Now. for any one of us to take on alone. But collectively, we might just have a shot. On our way. 
Full impulse power. Aye, Captain. Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes. Levels are dropping all over the ship, but our engines are still running strong. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it, too. I hope the away team is having more success than we are. too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down. wide enough to get through. Well, is it wide enough? No, but I can see the cartabula. What about now? Ah! I still can't get in. Stand back. I'll try again. Dominate these heretics! 
this won't take long. I'll be back. Wait. We'll help you. Stay here. You need to be ready to open the energy field with me. You can't take them all on yourself. I am a guardian of the Japan Empire. I could take an army. If you can get to the cartabula, don't wait for me. We'll hold the line. Wider. Can we get through? Maybe. Maybe we can widen it with a containment field from the tricorder. Oh! I don't think we can crowbar our way in. It takes a Takan to do it. to bring you into the fold. I will make you one of us. Trust me, this is the best outcome you can hope for. Miranda wouldn't want that. You don't know her like I do. Join the flame.
Are you all right? Carter, I'm sorry I hesitated. I tried to keep her from getting you. If I just shot her sooner. It's okay. I don't blame you. She's really gone. For good. I can't believe it. It had to end this way. She was suffering. It's over. Reach the Cartabula. That's great. Are you all okay? Yeah, we're inside. That's what matters. Two of ours are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. Getting remote telemetry from the away team tricorders. I'd recognize that anywhere. Our warp core resonant frequency is one of the readings. They're bleeding us dry. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the cartabula.
That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming, but this warning, it means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. This is Westbrook. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. You need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. You can break a wine glass if you play the right note loud enough. Sir? The Takan are so arrogant. They're letting us right in the front door with this energy drain. We can tune our warp core output to those frequencies. Get all our ships to do the same. Push it to maximum levels and we might be able to crack the wine glass the Cartabula, and take their ship offline. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. It'll work. It has to. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I've got faith in you, and the rest of this crew. Now let's give them hell! Yes, Captain. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but... It'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. You can't do this. You'll destroy everything I've waited for. that thing wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. I can always count on you. You'll stand by me to the end. This isn't the end. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? It's not enough. We need to push this thing harder. We need more power. Inertial dampeners are failing. Warp output at 85%. They're taking the bait. Now we need the rest of the fleet. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That's given them exactly what they want. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydek. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. Oh, 
going in line. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the resonator. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, It'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm sure. I bet my life on it. It's all our lives. Sending data to the Resolute. sent us an updated target resonance. Sending into engineering now. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. Runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can't afford to start second-guessing ourselves. We need to stay the course. Is my order beyond your ability to execute? Then you will follow it. We're all counting on you. Yes, Captain. It's not gonna eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We gotta make sure it doesn't go up the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing.
Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did, the sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. You must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. Our work here is done. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Three to beam back to the Resolute. We can't lock on. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but... We have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good. We can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. Ships, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelion. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or? Or I can weave us through the battle and hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. I don't want to get too close to that thing. We can't take much more fire, Captain. Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced <coughs> to eradicate you. <coughs> the Aphelion is still filling with lethal amounts of radiation, but it seems to be contained within the ship, for now at least. But they have comrades on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here if I don't care. Never submit to your federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. We can't do that if we're dead. If you won't surrender, we'll be forced to destroy you. We've crossed the eons to get here. We won't stop now. Fire Salvo! is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern from here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I'm really sorry, Nelly. I'm not gonna be able to go with you. 
but I have to get you back. Please. If you said that we'll be stuck here, give in to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <coughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. Time's up for me. If I'm gonna get you out, it's now or never. I don't want to leave you. You aren't. The time is now. team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Target their bridge. Please, Uyghur. Target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did. Fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Reitick. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Thanks, Captain Riker. I owe you one. Yes, you do. But who's keeping count? Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please. We surrender. We need your help. Please, beam us aboard your ship. I know what they've done, Captain. We can't let them die. They're our enemies today. But who knows what they could become. 
You saved the storage crystals. And there are other Takan. The bioformed on Hotari. On this very ship. We wouldn't be wiping them out if we didn't help the ones who tried to destroy us. It's what we do. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. We submit. I don't, I don't know what else I can say. Please. We don't want to die. There has to be a price for all they've taken. Close channel. My first order of business will be to help re-establish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Olivians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. My devotion to my people doesn't mean I don't want to explore all the galaxy has to offer. You don't have to be the queen to lead your people. In fact, you don't need to have a queen at all. There are many different forms of governance. But one thing I know is that Hotari would be lucky to have you. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. But... There are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydek. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Thank you, Ambassador Spock, for everything. It is you who stopped the spread of the Takan. I should be the one giving thanks. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. A challenge we don't always meet. For others, they had to pay the ultimate price. Carter Diaz had dreams of where Starfleet could take him. I think he ended up going further than he ever imagined. In time, history may forget their sacrifices. But those of us who were there, never will. Now, all hands honor the dead.
Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. More cohesive and coherent. Bound by our shared struggles. And working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved, but perhaps that too can change in time. Engage. Space, the final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are resolute.